So Avon came back today and said, no, done, we're not interested. So right? with Cody last night withdrew mm -hmm. its offer. Okay. And so basically that's because Avon had until close of day Monday, mm -hmm. yesterday, to respond to Cody's um, decision to want to engage in discussions over its latest bid that they revealed Warren Buffett right. was involved. They raised it 6.5% to 24.75 a share. Avon, did, did Avon anything? said we, are, we need a week. Yeah. They wanted more time. And then late last night around 10 p.m., 9.30 p.m. Eastern, mm -hmm. uh, Cody said, no, we're out. We gave you, you know, more than two months. They've been in discussions um, publicly. And they just said, that's it. You haven't been engaging with us and they were withdrawing the bid to move on to what they called better opportunities. Better opportunities. So now, uh, Avon shares were down on this news sharply. Yes. So shareholders were clearly hoping for, for something, right? Because Avon, we know yes. the stock's been dead for a long time. Uh, the company has some issues. Where does this leave the board now? And where does this leave Avon? You can see there, Avon right. down 10%. I mean, I guess the, the you know that's the first question, right? I mean, Avon. Where does Avon go from here? So Avon has a lot going on right now. It just had a new CEO, Sherry McCoy mm -hmm. from J and J, uh, started at the company in late April. So Avon has been saying that they want Sherry to have time to review the business. She's traveling to a lot of the emerging markets, big areas like Brazil, Russia, China, to see what's going on with Avon there and what needs to be fixed. Avon also faces a very messy ongoing. Um, um, internal or I'm sorry federal probe into allegations of foreign bribery with mm -hmm. overseas officials this has been going on for a long time and these cases known as FCPA the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act do go on for a long time so we don't know when that's going to be over Avon needs to figure out what's going on with its legal issues. Hopefully the CEO can fix some of the operational problems and it has a long road ahead with Cody or without it. Right. It seems to me that for Avon the, the question the question becomes, what are, you, what are you more? Are you more the products or are you more the way you sell them? The, the, the famous Avon lady, right? Yes. Now, I know the, the Avon lady is still popular overseas, but as the internet increases, as all these little handheld things here increase, you know, and uh, here I'm pulling up some... Uh, some of the excerpts here. Some yes. So Avon, uh, at around 1:30 a.m. this morning, released this statement that did not give any comment as to why it wanted that extra week. Mm -hmm. No explanation. Still, just kind of reiterating the playback of the back and forth with Cody and Avon. You sent us this letter that this time. We made it public then. Then you sent us this letter. You know, nothing. It, it didn't really give any information. Right. Didn't say why they. I mean, they came out and said they thought the bid undervalued the company. That we was knew with, that. right. That was with the first bid. Then right. Cody raised the offer. Then Avon had also said it wasn't credible enough. Then they added well, Warren, Warren Buffett. Buffett. Then, still not Warren Buffett. Still not credible <laughs> well, enough. Well, then they and then Cody said we want to do due diligence research, and that's when there it hit a stalemate. And Avon said we want more time, and Cody said no. We gave you this deadline, and right. then they withdrew. Now, um, I know that Avon. Oh my God! I just lost my thought. <laughs> Just well, one totally thing that I wanted thought. to add in was that I, you know, I, we've been talking to shareholders throughout this whole process. I was actually talking with one today, and uh, this person was saying that he he doesn't think it's over. You know, there's so much in it for Cody. We don't, you know, and we'll see. Right, right. now, they said they withdrew the offer, but it is worth, you know, saying it maybe it is That's over. What I was, maybe I was it isn't. Say shareholders this morning, obviously voting with their keyboards. The stock is down 10%. Right. I doubt this is the last we're going to hear from the shareholders on this. We'll issue. keep our eye on it.